Hello my lovelies! So um, today's hairstyle is nice and easy. Uh, we are doing a variation on a sock bun. Um, I'm calling this sock bun, the Sarah variation. Uh, it is the Sarah variation because Sarah sent me some really, really pretty uh, vintage um, hair pins, hair forks that I love and want to wear. And um, I was like, let me figure out a bun that they'll look pretty in. Um, it's really cool because I bought this necklace recently. Can you see it? Um, at a what was it, Riverfest in New Cumberland, West Virginia. A lady was making these, they're so pretty. And she found these vintage hair forks without having seen this necklace and sent them to me. And they are such a good match. It's really, really pretty. And I love this gray cashmere sweater and I want everything to match because I like matchy-matchy sometimes. So anyways, I wanted to wear these in a bun and I wanted it to be up front so they would face the front. And, um, I decided we do a sock bun with a variation. Uh, we're going to do some accent braids, and I named it after Sarah because she inspired it with her gift of awesome hair accessories. So, um, you don't need a lot. You need a couple of ponytail holders, um, two clear elastic bands, and some bobby pins. Oh, and a sock bun form. Um, mid-size form for me today. That's what we're going to use. Um, I am going to part it on the side I never parted on. I'm going to part it on the other side so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to go for a fairly deep part on the left hand side today. It always amazes me how much body I get when I part it on the opposite side. So, you know, in case you were ever wondering, um, if you do wear a side part, occasionally flip it over to the other side and see what happens. It's fun. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take mm, right to right behind my ear, separate this out, dun, dun, dun. We are going to put a Dutch braid in here, and we are actually, let me find where my thing is, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, to right behind the ear. Pull these forward. I'm going to clip these off. We're going to go ahead and throw the sock bun portion up, just so where are my hair clippers? Um, yeah, we're going to throw the sock bun portion up, just so that hair will be out of our way. Da -da. And like I said, I would like it to be visible from the front. And as such, um, yeah, so I'll be putting it up the upper crown portion of my head. Not quite, you know, all the way up on top. So I'm going to pony this. Then we're going to slide sock bun form down on it and do like we always do to make a sock bun. Um, any of my newbies that are wondering why it's called a sock bun when this is clearly not made from a sock. Um, well, they used to be made from socks. Even most of mine were made from socks until they started carrying these bun forms um, because you couldn't find them for the longest time. Uh, now, of course, they're everywhere. Because everyone else has found out how easy it is to get a very neat bun with one of these. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, we're using the mid-size one because, as you can see, a good portion of our hair is out of this here in the front. So uh, I don't think I have enough to cover the gigantimous one. Just want to make sure I don't have anything poking through like I do right there. I can feel. Let's see. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. There we go. And um, with our hair here in the back, we are going to go ahead and split it in half. It probably already wants to be split that way. And I'm going to take the right hand side 
and wrap it around up and over the left direction like so and then pin mm -hmm. and the left hand section I'm going to go up and around over the right um, I like to wrap it this way because I feel like Instead of just taking one giant hunk and going roundy, roundy with it, which you sometimes end up a little lopsided, this ends up evening it out a little better. Just my thoughts on the matter. All right, and pin that in. So we've got our sock bun. Let's get this out. Woo! Um, yeah, so we have our sock bun up. Hopefully it looks... Oh, my mirror's not in here. Hopefully it looks fairly even. Um, back in a second, I need my mirror. All right, I have my mirror. Um, <laughs> yeah, that looks decently even. Okay, um, and as you can see, you can actually see it from the front a bit. All right, now we are going to Dutch braid. Um, yay, yeah, I'm gonna do a Dutch on this side and a Dutch on the other side. And then we're gonna wind them around our spot and it will be beautimous. So Dutch braid is a form of French braiding. Um, for anybody that's new. <laughs> uh, it is also called an inside out French braid or a reverse French braid. All that means is that we take the hair strands underneath the center strand as opposed to over top. That's the only difference. We still add to both sides. And uh, me personally, I like adding to both sides first because um, it keeps me honest. Uh, what I mean by that is that it keeps my braids nice and even. Um, this is, you know, that's that's my personal preference. You, of course, braid however it is that you like to braid. I am not here to tell you that what you are doing is wrong. I'm just telling you how I find it to be easier. Um, that is all. So I am going to Dutch braid this side, and then I'm going to Dutch braid the other side, and I will be back with you once I have both of these braided so we're not here all day. All right, lovelies. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened that my camera cut off, so I'm going to have to look and see. Um, but we do have Brady goodness, and then this big, thick, fat one, camera, seriously, this big, thick, fat one I wrapped underneath and then around the center portion of the hair that we had wrapped around the base of our sock bun, and then I pinned it in place. It does end up looking slightly Grecian, except for the, you know, the big ball. But um, all the braids give us fabulous braidy goodness. And then to finish it off, ta -da, I'm going to take my pins and put them up here right behind, um, right in front of the sock and right behind the hair that we wrapped around, because that is where I want them to be. And that way you can see them from the front. Um, sometimes I have to come up with things just so I can see them. Mm. Um, anyways, it is just basically a simple sock bun. We did some accent braids. I wanted to experiment with covering up the parts with smaller braids, which I did um, for fun. And I really like the look of a braid around the just the straight um, hair around the sock bun because I think it looks neater and uh, as I said this is the Sarah variation uh, one because she's pretty classy and I think this comes out as a pretty classy hairstyle and two she um, got me these vintage pins which are really really pretty and they inspired me to come up with something to show them off and I think this does a very nice job so um, that is my hairstyle for today you guys and uh, 
you know, play around with your sock buns. I think we will probably do a few more of these sock bun variations. Um, just, you know, so you guys can see how many fun things you can do with a bun form. You know, why not? Um, we might as well give it a go, right? <laughs> Alrighty, um, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Until then, have a great day. Bye!